This is going to be just a quick video of some of my uh, belt buckles I, I make and some of my jewelry, some bracelets. Uh, I'll just go through some of the belt buckles here, some that are completed. It's angle wire, piece of pipe I twisted and braided stainless wire welded on a keeper same thing this is just some pipe with rod and tubing inserted in it and I'll show you what that's all about here in a second uh, welded everything together braided the wire tacked it on now this is a little different this is a arrowhead I made this a few years ago in fact uh, O2 I made this so I've been making them for a while got a curve in it a little bit longer one actually this one's also made in O2 here's a bracelet I've done I've done several of these not a whole lot I may, I may have done a dozen of them cuff bracelet. Now this was a failure. This just something wasn't working out here. I don't know what uh, <clears throat> something didn't twist up right or match up right and I put it on a junk bench. Now here's what I was talking about these tubes inserted. Now this would be a blank for the belt buckles. It's two pieces of uh, stainless what I, I call Kendorf. Some people call Unistrut or strut tubing uh, with pipe inserted in it and then tubing inserted in the pipe. I don't like the way it bells out here a little bit. It kind of stretched out the uh, um, the Kindorf a little bit, so I'm not real happy with that, but the, the buckle doesn't look too bad. It's got shotgun shells. And then this still needs a lot of buff work done to it. And here's another here's another blank. Now this is well, I'm probably, I'm probably going to say a piece of 2 inch schedule 40 stainless Looks like a piece of inch and a quarter, maybe inch and a half inside it with uh, quarter inch tubing inserted the whole way down through it. That's the tubing rammed in it, pounded in, tack it on. Here's another little blank. It's got some dirt in it from laying around, but uh, the back end's kind of ugly. It still has some slabs I can cut off of it yet. And it's full of dirt and stuff. Just some. Here's some different slabs cut off what they look like before I start polishing and welding. Uh, just a little tray of assorted slugs like you see here. Now this would be a different slug a slug out of here. It's almost like a mosaic pin which I, I make some of those also. There's one with a couple pieces of uh, pipe flipped around and tacked back in. That would have looked something like this and this was cut in half and flipped around to look something like this one here then. So I'll just give you an idea. Some of them already have stuff tacked on them. Uh, I'm not quite done with stuff. It's just uh, when I get when I get the stuff, when I see something that catches my eye, I start working out. I got this one out. I want to start working on that one a little bit. It's turned out pretty nicely. So. so that's a little bit of what's going on. I was working on this other walking stick. And I do have some more progress where I took, you may have seen the last video on the walking stick possibly, I had brass and copper and that's trimming it all out making it suit the horn right now. Horn's really polishing up quite nicely I would say. It's going to go in this stick here eventually. I've got to get uh, some more fine tuning done to it. That, that'll be all epoxy down in there. And I mentioned I want to still put a carving in the face of this. And another knife I'm working on. Big Bowie blade. This was a piece soldered together. I have like a mosaic pin design in the back. Hard to see maybe with this lighting. I don't know. But uh, you get the idea. Everything's soldered together, and then two pieces of ball thread rod come down in this piece of caribou, and I pinned it with eight eighth inch pins. And you see the epoxy is all set up. It's set for a day. This is like.
This is some new stuff that I'm trying. It's a 3,500 pound mix, two part mix, Loctite. And uh, so far, so good. It's really been working out nicely for me. Mix the two parts equally, stir it up a little bit, and the stuff is like, uh, it's almost like welding it together. There's a little clamp I just got. It's called a can't twist. Kind of neat. It's got little grooves in it. Hold stuff together, butt it up against the back. That's gonna be the uh, working on the brass for the for the handle right there. Fits in there, something like that. Of course, it needs some final tune up, and then the horn will be on the back, something like that. And it looks, of course, that brass will all be finished. Everything will be blended in. I'm getting ready to sand off this end cap here anyway and round this all off. So it'll be, instead of what you're seeing here square, that'll be totally rounded. And hopefully I don't get into the brass when I'm rounding it off. I'll try to avoid it, but I think it'll blend in even if I, even if I do. So there's where we're about at. I did get a nice Damascus blade. That's going to be a project here. Let's see the... Damascus Bowie. Pretty nice blade. Well, uh, just a little guy to tour around the shop for a minute. Uh, killing time to the old woman who gets home. Thought I'd make a video and uh, just uh, BS a little bit. So uh, I'll talk to you later.